just dried you, man. Hi, Boopy. You're so concerned. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Moj. Good morning, Moj. Anyways, this is the most I've gotten up today, so I don't know what today's vlog is going to be. But in today's vlog, I'm going to include my top 10 favorite songs off of my playlist as a little interesting add to the vlog. And that might be the only thing interesting in the vlog today because I feel so so bad I do not feel good at all. Do you guys see this? They oh, you can't even see it. One of the lights is out. Okay, well they spilled a glass of water all over. Reese and Moji are now covered in water. So I'm gonna have to clean them both off and clean that up. Mochi mochi, cleany cleany, washy washy, yeah 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. There you go. Now you're out try. You're out try. Okay, come here, baby. You're gonna be more difficult to dry. Dry dry dry. No, I am. Hang on. Dry dry dry. Dry dry dry. Dry dry dry. Yeah, play with that toy. Thank God, not the big bowl. But it got under this, so I cleaned it up and had to put this back. But it's hard to lift this by myself, so I put that there, just in case. Cleaned up all the water. By the time I clean up the water, it's now time for them to eat. Reese, don't even think about splashing in that. They were literally laying in the water. Um, and I was trying to clean it up, so I didn't really clean it, but... Oh my gosh. Every single day the kittens are doing something new that is naughty. Yesterday taking out all their toys and then also chasing each other in the litter box and causing a whole big fiasco. And then today they spilled water. I guess that's just how it is when you have little toddler cats, huh? Is that how it is? Are you ready for lunch? Are you exhausted from all of your water play? Huh? Alright, the little babies are going to eat their lunch while I clean up, well, I cleaned up this, but now I need to clean up the bowl because they had a food bowl down there that is now completely soaked in water. Um, it's going to be a little hot today, so we're not going to need to keep them as cool, but, whoa, oh my god, I did not just do that. Son of a monkey. Yeah, I slipped from my hand and I made a mess again. <laughs> These were my two days today. This Wednesday and Thursday has been awful to me. Just, oh my god, and I don't even feel well. I need to clean this up. Okay, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. At least I caught it on camera, right? <laughs> Alright you guys, I have my official top list. I actually ended up doing more than 10 because on my playlist there's a lot of songs. And I didn't 
Uh, a couple of these are not in direct order, but um, I will just list them as they are in my playlist. So this is my top songs played on my iPod. This is my orange iPod because I haven't transferred everything to my black iPod yet. So but, uh, let's get started. And tell me in the comments below if any of these are similar to what you guys have. So number one is Bullet with Butterfly Wings with by um, Smashing Pumpkins. I love that song. I danced to it when I was little. Um, if I can find that clip um, in my old memory thing, I will show you guys that sometime if you're interested. But the first one is Bullet with Butterfly Wings. It always has a special place in my heart. My dad would work out in the living room in our Iowa house and I would dance to it. I know it's not a dance song. Uh, the second one is Ghostbusters, I'm Not Afraid, the new one. Uh, then Just Dance, then uh, Hakuna Matata, <laughs> then um, Peaches, um, I Know What You Did Last Summer, I love that song, Bye Bye Bye, yes there's an insane song in there, <laughs> I write songs on tragedies, Danny California, Honey Honey, yes there's some Mamma Mia in there, Skater Boy, Zombie by the Cran Cranberries, which Andrew, my mom, and... I think it was just Andrew and my mom. have never heard that song. It's such a good rock out song. Okay, uh, then Before He Cheats, The Phoenix, The Scat Man, which is a really good underrated song, um, Lonely No More, Knives and Pens, Smells Like Teen Spirit, Human, uh, I think that's by Rag and Bones, Modern Jesus, Straight Up by Paula Abdul. Yes, I love that song. My mom loves 80s music, so... I got that. Uh, you're gonna go far, kid. That is the last one on the list. Yep, you're gonna go far, kid. So that is my top played songs on my iPod. If you guys want to see other videos like this where I tell you guys like my top 90s songs, my top rock songs, whatever, put it in the comments below. But I just thought that was kind of fun to include that in the vlog. Alright, you guys, we are watching Me Before You, which is super good so far and we're gonna pop some popcorn um i got it all set up but mom makes it the best so i kind of just got it set up for her pretty much <laughs> so we're gonna have some popcorn and we're watching awesome. it's teamwork it is teamwork because you know the right amount and then i shake it oh yeah <laughs> and then i shake it and then she shakes <laughs> So what do you think of the movie so far? I like it. I like it too. It's so good. It's a, well, I don't know. I'm saying it's a, it's a little comedic. So like a romantic comedy. Is that what you say it was? It's a romantic comedy, I think. But it's really good so far. We're not very far into it though, I don't think. Probably not too far. But um, that is what we're doing. We're having a little movie night on this Thursday night. And it's been so much fun. I have wanted to see this movie for a really, really long time. I don't know why I didn't go to the theater. I guess I just, like, never got a chance to. And I've never rented it. So when it came on demand, I was like, I gotta watch this with Mom. This is the perfect movie to watch with Mom. Because Andrew will not watch this type of movie with me. <laughs> and I don't want to watch it by myself. Because I like it when <laughs> it's more fun when you watch other people. I do. It was advertised a lot. And if you watch Victoria and you watch The the Crown, you'll recognize two people in this movie. Victoria herself, Queen Victoria, the person who plays me, Queen Victoria, and um, the Queen's sister are in this, um, in this movie. And then the guy from Hunger Games. And I don't know what the girl is from, but I recognize her from somewhere. I'll have to figure out that. Anyways, that's what we are doing. And it's very, very fun. I love movie night. Okay, you guys, so we have actually weighed the kittens. I know this is not an official, like, thing to weigh. And it's not even, like, digital, so it's really hard to actually read because you have to actually, like, look at the meter really close. But we measured, or not measured, weighed the kittens and discovered that Mochi is now 4 pounds at 12 weeks and, let's see, 12 weeks and 1, 2, 3, three days so at 12 weeks and three days mochi is four pounds and reese is three pounds at 12 weeks and four days so they are growing and growing and growing when they first got here they were two pounds and two and a half pounds so they have gained that's good and um they have not had their first doctor appointment yet i don't know how that's gonna go because when mochi came home he hated the crate 
like he meowed the whole time. Reese was pretty chill. She just kind of relaxed. She meowed a little, but she was just pretty relaxed and okay. But once they go to the doctor and they start getting shots and checkups, they're gonna associate the carrier with that. And I don't know how well that's gonna go because it does not go well for Kiwi, so we will see. But they can't, they are going to have their first appointment um, for the doctor closer to um, 16, 14 or 16 weeks um, because then they're old enough to get their baby shots. So um, that'll be coming up soon. Kitten's first vet visit will be very interesting. But I just wanted to update you guys on how many pounds they are because it's so cute. Hi, babe. Ah! <laughs> She's attacking me. Munch! Hi, Munch! Hi, Macy! Oh no, did it get under there? that's going to be it for Thursday's vlog. Andrew is obviously off um, doing his overnight. He has overnight again tomorrow, which isn't normal for us, but he has the day off tomorrow. So me and him are probably going to have to go and run some errands, maybe do a couple different fun shops tomorrow. We'll have to see. We are going to invest in kitten or cat pet wipes because the kittens keep getting out of their litter and having stuff all over the feet, I won't gross you out with any other thing than that, but we're gonna need to invest in that. <laughs> so we are going to have to go and do a little shopping tomorrow, then he's gonna have to work, and then Saturday we have um, a garage sale all day, and then we are going to have, we probably are going to go, I don't know if you're interested for 100%, but we're gonna go to a family function for his family, and then, Sunday is going to be a family day. I don't know if we're actually going to continue the garage sale. We'll have to see. Um, and then we have some very fun, exciting things coming next week. So expect that soon. Follow us on all of our social media. I have some brand new highlights on my Instagram account. I also post some pretty cute pictures on similar to me be um, cats. I was going to say pets. It was pets. Now it's cats. Um, the links for all of that is in the description. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I update my Instagram story and it's super fun. Um, and you get a lot more like a lot more up to date things on there. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you like. And don't forget to share this video with a family member, with a friend. I can't talk tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Liz.